Welcome back to the Raspy Voice Kids. You're joining Brandon Phoenix, a.k.a. I Also Hate Pit. I'm joined, as always, by Jeremy, J.N. Fiend Phoenix. And we are brought to you by Sandwich U and Shrinkables. Shrinkables! There we go. Always got to wait. <laughs> Not sure. Right? And we want a uh, quick, do something for us. When you're on High Street, if you're in Morgantown, whether you're from there or whether you're visiting, whether it's for a game or you got some other business, let Sandwich know, you know where you heard about them. Let them know that the Raspy Voice Kids sent you. Just a quick, hey, heard about you guys from the Raspy Voice Kids. That'll go a long way. All right. Now that that's done, we want to talk about one of the mo mo most momentous nights in recent Mountaineer history. Senior nights happen every single year, but without question, without argument, this one was special. We saw the culmination of Javon Carter and Daxter Miles in their time on the Coliseum court, and it was magical. The atmosphere was electric. The crowd was loud and proud. There were tears all around. And then the West Virginia Mountaineers did what they needed to do to send Dax and JC out right. Jeremy, you were there, Section 210. How was it for you? No, nah, it's a good way to explain it. Magical. From the moment you walked in to the light show, to the crowd, you could feel it. Everybody was emotional. Um, some of them probably had tears. Most of them probably had tears in their eye. Not me. I'm 2G with mine. But you could feel it. It, it was an absolutely special moment. It was, Like you said, it wasn't just a regular senior night. It, it was Dax and JC. And Bobby Huggins said the same thing. He said that he's never seen two seniors get down and kiss the floor the way that Dax and JC did and mean it. And you could tell they meant it, that West Virginia has a spot in their heart permanently and forever, not just the university, but the state. Dax was so emotional post game that he couldn't even get through the whole conversation. He had to stop and pause. Uh, Javon buried his face in Bobby's chest and just held it there. Um, I'm a G2. I did not cry, right? but there were moments where I thought I could. There was that much emotion. And it's not just because they've been so successful. Let's go down the list because I think this is important. I think sometimes we get spoiled with what we've accomplished. We forget what we've actually accomplished. Uh, and sometimes we compare ourselves to other programs or to what we've done in history that we don't give credit where it's done. What needs to be known is that there have only been uh, uh, four unranked weeks since Javon and Dax started their career at WVU. Going into senior night, so this is before the game started, they had four 20-win seasons. There will be four NCAA tournaments, 264 career games that they've played, 265 now. Both of them over 1,000 points. Of course, we know Javon's stat line. 72 straight weeks in the top 25. 72 straight. And both of yeah, them academic all Big 12 first team. Now, a lot of people may not give credit to that or think it's a big deal, but if you remember the criticism that Bob Huggins received when he was at Cincinnati, that he didn't recruit players that would graduate, that he didn't care about kids going to class, his two most important players, academic first team all Big 12. Huge, huge credit to who and what Jack, Jax, well, I, we could call him Jax, Dax and JCR. Jax. Add to that the Javon Carter breaking that record, 1,500 points, 500 rebounds, 500 assists. Incredible, too. 300 steals, setting the record for West Virginia University in all-time steals, and he's not done. It was just monumental. And beside all, all the uh, actual stats that we, we can quote and see, we have so many games that we remember them being a part of and impacting. These kids came in as freshmen and played. I mean, what, I think JC had, what, 23 minutes as a freshman? I mean, they played. Think about big games. Even back when we played Kansas and and uh, Juwan State and did the hit the circle button, the spin move, the layup. JC was there. He was a freshman. Yeah. Think about the year later when Dax is talking about <laughs> UK is about to lose another yep. one. Did you learn something? Great. But that's what I'm saying. There's so many moments that these two gave us over their careers. We should really just appreciate what we're witnessing and what we're uh, and what we've seen in Morgantown. Granted, we're not going to see them on the home court anymore. Their careers are not no. done. But sometimes you can get so caught up in the this and that, or we win, or we that you you miss out on what's really here. And right now, what we have, we have to appreciate while it's here. The press has been revolutionized. We've the, the country, the world has never seen a basketball press like West Virginia has presented over the past few years. And J.C. and Dax have been a huge part of it. Appreciate it. Founding fathers of Press Virginia. 
and give props to Bob Huggins, who changed the way that he coached in order to use the personnel he had in times where it looked where people were starting to say, does Huggy still have it? Well, JC and Dax were able to work with him to show that, yes, he still does. And I was super impressed for Sagaba Kanate, for Issa Ahmad, for Beetle Bolden, that the moment wasn't too big for them, that they were able to support their seniors the way that every senior should go out in Morgantown. I don't care if it's basketball, football, soccer, lacrosse, women's, men's, swimming, diving, whatever it is, when you leave as a senior, you should leave as a winner. And the team rallied around Put us in a great position to win, and Jax and uh, Jax, Dax and JC led the way. It was perfect. Now, it really was perfect. No, it was absolutely perfect. You talked about near fans. You talk about Javon Carter. He's up there in our hearts. Top, top five, top ten basketball players of all time. Like he just has that spot in our hearts. And what they've done is incredible. But I was thinking about this earlier. Is there any way that JC? could get to be the greatest Mountaineer of all time. If, here's my question, Brandon. I was thinking about this earlier. If Javon Carter and Daxter and the rest of the Mountaineers, but if Javon Carter leading the Mountaineers this year wins the national championship, brings the first national championship ever to the university, is there any way he unseats the logo, Jerry West, we all talk a, as the greatest Mountaineer We all ever. talk about the logo. We all talk about the lore. But what really did Jerry West accomplish? Well, I'll tell you. Undefeated his freshman year, 17-0. 26-2 the next year. In one season, he had 30 double-doubles. Jerry West won, or he holds, 12 records at WVU. How many does John, Devon hold? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Devon holds one. Jerry, yeah. Jerry West led... As a co-captain with Oscar Robertson, he led the U.S. to a gold medal in the 1960 Olympic Games. Okay. Jerry West All right, I'm, went to I'm the listening. Final Four. On, Jerry West went to the championship game. Jerry West was unable to do what every other Mountaineer in any, in any um, revenue-generating sport, and for those of you who don't understand what I mean, for any of the sports that actually matter... <laughs> He was not able to bring us a national championship. The question is not whether or not Javon is better than Jerry West. Javon is not better than Jerry West at any point in his career. Javon's own mother will tell you that Javon is his favorite, her favorite player. Cynthia C.J. Johnson will say Javon is my favorite player, but he is not the best player. Not to say that he's not great, because he is. And I believe his jersey deserves to hang in the rafters. I don't care about the standards. The standards need to be adjusted. That said, okay. Jerry West is the greatest of all time. However, however, I was gonna say, uh, no, I was gonna say, get to the point. Or if if I'm talking about you, if J if Javon Carter wins the national championship, bringing him the first one ever for you, Brandon Phoenix, be smooth. Will he supplant? Will he be your Mountaineer? Your the Mountaineer. The only way Javon does that, in my heart, in all honesty, the only way he does that is if he goes on a Kemba Walker type tear. He has to be the reason, without question, that we win the title. He cannot be along for the ride. He can't even be average. He has to be outstanding. And he has to be named most so outstanding no. player with the national championship cut down. Because Deshaun Butler took us to a Final Four. Jerry West took, took us to a Final Four in a national championship. To get a national championship would be one step further, but it would, he'd, have to be, he'd have to be just amazing and that and, and that and that will make you feel the most proud to be if a he if he the does that. Now, if he the, does not if he just if we win a national championship to me he goes in the top five automatically with the national championship you know what I say no no you know you know what I say the struggle is real I've been thinking about this the struggle is real it's emotional I understand real players is Jerry West better than Javon Carter Let's yes. be honest, okay? We know this. We, we see his NBA resume. We see everything about what Jerry West and what he's done. And he makes me proud to be a West yes, Virginian. Proud that he's from West Zeke Virginia. Zeke from Cabin Creek. But if J.C. If JC leads us to a national championship, think about how many years we have fought and put up with a high, with, with, with all these other fans from all those other fan bases. Football and basketball and all they ever say is, where's your national championship? And they talk junk. If J.C. erases all of that, a 
over uh, over Pitt, I mean over Virginia Tech who does have one if JC and I know it's not just JC but when you put this career where he's uh, somebody who has his own category and he leads us and we win the national championship and we go on this tear going to the the, the lead a the final four me I'm sorry in my heart in my heart it may be JC forever because if, I, if I'm going to tell my kids, if I'm going to be talking about something from West Virginia, I'm going to be talking about J.C. in the year that we won the national championship. When when the year wasn't perfect and they rallied. I, Brandon, but it would I, happen. I'm, but I'm my sorry. thing is, I don't think we can win a title without Sag staying out of foul trouble and Issa being as aggressive as he has been and Dax being the good Dax for the for, So you're for saying the that of the because tournament. it won't be all J.C., you're not going to give him all the credit. Yeah, because, so here's that, my because question. what I'm saying now, is. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Because I was really close with this one. So if Bob Huggins wins a national championship, does he unseat Jerry West? I, for me, um, so the answer is no. No, 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 I don't no know. That's Jerry a good West. question. It's something I hadn't, no, thought, that's something I hadn't okay. thought of. Because Bobby Huggins, of course, played for WVU. He will have taken us to a Final Four and won a national championship. Um and the love that he showed just pour out and of his And I will soul say Jerry West, West hasn't been Mr. West Virginia flag bearer. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, and I'm not hating on him. The man has done his career and has done right. His son played for us. I, I've got no, no complaints yes, about yes, Jerry we know West, that, yes. but Bobby Huggins is Mr. Mountaineer. He is a flag bearer. He is. If Bob Huggins comes home and hang, raises a banner to the Coliseum ceiling, do you pick him over Jerry I'm getting West? emotional. I'll be honest. I'm just getting emotional. I, I, we're talking about this too much. Hey, I, we got a lot of season left. This is just too much for me. It's, it's overwhelming. It, that's a good question. I can't give you an answer because I really don't know. That's I, a good I, I, and, question. And, and I changed my answer too. I, I, I think I'm with you. I don't think JC can unseat Jerry West. I believe it's a real conversation if Bobby Huggins wins a national yeah, I, championship. I can give you that. I can give you that. I, I think, and I think that. You ain't to be honest, it. we don't have to talk about this much. But I think Deshaun Butler gets lost in all of this. What he uh, what he no, no, accomplished, the way he accomplished it at West Virginia, his love for the state. Get, I don't think I think he gets lost in how great he, he lost. was. I think most and how clutch he was. I think most people. I think most people. If you ask him about um, um, Deshaun Butler, they're going to say Deshaun Butler right now. He took us to that final four. They remember that scene. I'm saying if they win a national championship, can Javon leapfrog? The answer seems like no. But my question now is Bobby Huggins, and that's a question for you guys. Do you feel if Bobby Huggins, Mr. Mountaineer, crying on the floor with his players, if he wins a national championship, can he supplant Jerry West? It's a question you have to answer. Thank you for listening. And thank you for watching the Raspberry Voice Kids. We want to give a special thanks to Sandwich You, King of the Fat Sandwich, and to Shrinkables. We also want to thank one of our patrons, Jen Wilt. We thank you for your support. And if you would like to become a patron, please click the link in our bio or in the description so you can become a part of the show.